Welcome to Blackest with Otero. I'm your girl. I'm your host, Nadi. And this is the channel you come to where you want to know the truth. This is going to be the tell-all be-all. So anyway, before I get into your message, your reading, your special dose of unwanted, not too explicit, dose of tea. Anyway, let's light this Palo Santo and get into it. Let's go. God, I come to your prayer space. You open up my third eye so that I can give the collective everything that they need to know on this regular, regular Monday. <laughs> also, ask that any energies or any entities that may be trying to harm me, I ask that you grab them by the side of their neck and snatch them back to hell. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Love and light, abundance, and protection. Love and light, abundance, and protection. Love and light, abundance, and protection. Y'all, I burnt a hole in my carpet with this incense. So for some of y'all, I feel like that is a sign that y'all are burning through y'all pockets when it comes to that money. Or you may be dealing with somebody who is burning a hole through your pockets. You don't need to buy nobody love. That's for somebody. Let's clarify. You may be dealing with somebody who is currently lying about a pregnancy. Somebody is currently probably trying to trap you. Don't let that wench get no free child support. Don't let that wench move in with you to have a free place to live. Mm-hmm. Anyway. What does the collective need to know? What does the collective need to know? Whoa. What does the collective need to know? I'm hearing there's a lot on my chest right now. It's a lot on their chest, but they, are they going to say the truth about it? No. No. The truth is that, that, that they're never going to tell you about the, the truth is that they're running out of patience on you ever, you know, probably moving in with them, giving them a chance, coming back to them. I feel like this is somebody that you no longer talk to. Yeah, it's been very much past energy. Anyway, this person is patiently waiting on you to return or is losing patience at the fact that you're not returning to them. Mm -hmm. This person, I feel like they got a very big ego and they feel like eventually if they give you a little space, it, you'll come back to them. Mm -hmm. But I really feel like this person truly is struggling financially or just doesn't have it all the way together as it seems. So, yeah, this person may have like um, bad spending habits, not good with money, things of that nature. And I'm also hearing you're burning through your money with all this vacationing, all this fun things, going out, overeating. You need to chill out or you're going to be broke, busted, and disgusted, looking for a handout that nobody's going to give you. You know nobody care about you. You know that you only have yourself. So make sure you're doing the proper steps that any adult should do to make sure they're not somewhere looking for a handout. Okay? Let's get their hidden truth. Um... Like I said, this person's life isn't together as it seems. They're struggling. But they replay your conversations over and over in their head because you were very wise and they did learn a lot from you in the small amount of time that y'all were together. I feel like this person laughed a lot with you. They were, you know, they're happiest when they were with you. Even though even though they were faking the funk about a lot of things, keeping a lot of secrets, they had a great time with you. What is this person's hidden truth? What is this person saying true? They stay awake thinking about you and they were too childish when they met you. This person is still intoxicated, still is attracted to you. And like I said, you were the best thing in their life. Sometimes I got to pat myself on the back because I'd be so right. This person hid who they were from you, like I said. 
And now you're being forced to be this person's spiritual lesson because they couldn't get it right when God blessed them with you. Mm -hmm. Like I said, this person is still attracted to you. And if they fell for you and had feelings for you, they still do. Mm -hmm. And like I said, they're waiting on a sign from you. They want you to reach out because their ego is so big that they don't want it to get smushed. This person stays thinking about you. Wake up thinking about you. This person is understanding the connection now. They understand how healthy you were for their growth, how much needed you were for their life, their path, their growth. This person looks for you everywhere. You probably disappeared, ghosted this person, probably moved, probably moved jobs. This person don't know what you got going on. Yeah, this person, yeah. Probably even, you know, stalks your social media, things of that nature. If y'all have mutual friends, they ask about you, you know, on the slick slick. Try not to be too obvious about it, but they're worried about you, wondering about you. This person does want to be more than friends, so if they come back around trying to be friendly, it's way more than that. And this person could have let you get close to them because if they get, if you got close to them, you would have really seen, you know, the, the facade that they were putting up to be able to, I feel like, impress you. I feel like this person felt like they needed to impress you. Which eventually made you walk away because this person was truly a liar. And you don't need to lie to kick it. I really feel like you left this person alone because this person was lying to, lying to kick it. This person never held up their, their end of their word. This person never was dependable. I thought like this person had a big ego. I thought like this person was very manipulative, very like insecure, jealous. I really feel like confirmation. And I feel like you just feel like you were wasting your time and you truly didn't even know who this person was. I feel like this person was very like... Like they were open, but at the same time, you didn't feel like it was the whole truth. You felt like you were being told half truths or, you know, some of something, not the whole thing. But it's only because this person couldn't let you get close to them because you would have truly seen what they brought to your table. Which was a grape to your roast. What you going to do with a grape? Thanks for the appetizer. You ain't got no water. They don't got no water. They don't got no napkin to, to wipe the juice up. They have nothing to offer you. They were the least common denominator and they needed to be subtracted. Let's see what's happening in your like little, 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 little. Mm -hmm. in your love life right now. I'm hearing this jibber jabber. It, it's, it's just like how my mouth just went. All mixed up. Too mixy. Anyway, I'm hearing single because very soon, loving yourself first. Either you're dealing with this person currently and you're about to lead him along, or you already left this person alone and chose yourself. So, baby, you single right now. So, let's just make sure. Current love for the collective. Mm -hmm. Current love. You got to know this person, and what you got to know was that this person was a breadcrumber, and you decided to lead him along. This person was selfish with their finances. They didn't believe in what you believed in. Y'all didn't have the same type of morals at all. It was not safe to love this person. They gave you unrequited love. This person was very moody, wishy-washy. They were attractive, but okay, and <laughs> this person was a gossiper. They, they let everybody in their business. They probably took advice from people that didn't even need to be in their relationship. Truly, they didn't have any security within themselves, so they were very insecure, could not even... I really just feel like this person couldn't even think on their own. This person did not learn anything from nothing. Like, I feel like this is an unhealed person. This is a person who was like, oh, whoa, it's me, my way or the highway type of person. This is somebody who wanted something serious with you, but wasn't serious with them damn, with their damn self. How they want something serious with you, but they're not serious with themselves. Be for real. Be, be for real. Yeah, there was chemistry there, but... 
What's she gonna do with all the rest of the red flags? All right. New love for the collective. There's gonna be a lot of passion and chemistry for this new love. New love for the collective. New love for the collective. New love. New love. New love. Uh-oh. This person is going to be the one. They could be the one. Keep an open mind, but always remember to love yourself first. Put yourself first. You may just end up getting right back with your ex. Because y'all both are codependent on each other's passion. Like, this person is going to come back very soon, but this person is still a player. You may be still a player. Y'all both may just be the same person. Yeah, that's what it's looking like. I feel like y'all deserve each other. So when they come back along, you're going to give this person a chance. Because this is somebody that you had a relationship in relationship with in the past life. But either this person's a red flag or y'all both are red flags. Meant to be together. Two deceptive beings. Y'all are meant to be together. player from a Himalaya and met another player from a Himalaya and look at y'all. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Two toxic peas in the pod. Mm -mm. Yeah, I'm judging you. Mm -mm. Give me some advice for the collective. Give me some advice for the collective. Give me some advice. Mm -hmm. Give me some advice on that for the collective. I feel like you all are codependent on each other. This person's codependent on you. Y'all are also codependent on some type of sub substance of some sort, liquor, drugs, things of that nature. Um, you all are spoiled brats. Both parties, y'all are both materialistic type of people. Materialistic people. Y'all both are charming devils. Y'all are both toxic. And y'all both deserve each other. And y'all both are meant for each other. Because if... I'm hearing why snake somebody... Why snake somebody, somebody else out when you can snake each other out? But I'm hearing in a freaky way, like that type of thing. I feel like if y'all really work hard in this relationship, it'll go far. Or you can just let it all, you can just let it all go. Because honestly, I prefer healthy, but if you prefer toxic, do your thing. But do you truly want to feel like this all the time? Up one day, down the next. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. But anyway, this person finds happiness with you. They're, you nurture this person. You make this person feel whole. I feel like this person is may be addicted to att attention you know i feel like they're always in somebody's face even if it is just overly being friendly i feel like you may do the same thing as well a very person is very sexual you're very sexual this person has user tendencies you have user tendencies it's always this person's way or the highway same thing for you and like i said this person may be struggling with addictions and i think you are too I really truly really feel like you're meant, you two are meant for each other. Truly. Truly. Let's get you some messages, though. Give me some messages for the collective. 
Give me some messages for the collective. Give me some messages. Earthly materials but a bad heart. This person may have stuff, fancy cars, but they quick to crash out, meaning quick to risk it all for something stupid. They don't think. The person don't have good intentions. They're selfish. You may be the same way, but I really feel like it's this other person. But God wants you to keep working on the things that you're striving for. Because either way it go, success is written in the stars for you. Mm -hmm. And don't let this person come back and hold you down. Hold you back. Because this person holds dark spirits with them. Dark attachments. Dark addictions so respect yourself and love yourself not to allow somebody to come in and continue to deceive you don't allow this person to come and play in your face disrupt your peace this person is broken they're not who they say they are but they do miss how happy you made them and they may just be a real deal thought a real deal piece of shit who has a second phone that you don't even know about this person may also be a thief and i already said it a cheater so keep your peace and don't allow this person to disturb your peace because if you don't know it now you know this person is not faithful you may have short hair or they may have short hair but I feel like it's really just saying this person is going to stress you out to the point where, baby, you lose all your edges and result to an addiction. If you have been, have, been having unprotected sex recently in the window of 28 hours, 24 hours, you need to go take a plan B because you may end up pregnant, okay? You need to also detox your friendships because you have a bunch of fake friends that you don't even, decide, don't even know about. Mm -hmm. You have a bad day coming up. Somebody is going to try to come take you on a date, but it's not going to end well. Mm -hmm. This person that, who, that may try to take you on a date lives with their mother. And they don't want nobody to know that truth about them. They're also a drug addict. And you may be dealing with a fake co-worker as well. Just know, like I said, success is bringing in the stars for you. You are meant to be have happy and wealthy. While these people who doubted you who played in your face will be miserable. We'll have to sit with the fact of being a loser because they truly were breadcrumbers. And when they try to come, when if they come back into your life and if you let this person come back into your life, they're only going to do the same shit. So the judgment is, yes, move on. Because they're going to still watch you anyway. They're going to continue to stalk you anyway. And honestly, to be honest, if we keep it real, you didn't even experience the the best with these people. They experienced the best with you. And just know, you're watched daily. Confirmation. God is going to bless you with the real thing, so don't worry about it. But this person now realizes that you all had a soul connection. This was supposed to be something great beautiful and they know they can't have it and they can't come back and they damn sure are afraid to be rejected because they know they can't come back you don't want them no more you don't want them and they're experiencing a terror moment and got the nerve to have your name in their mouth because they're in a low vibrational state <laughs> mad because they're still stuck on you Stuck in your energy. Stuck wanting to feel your aura again. Now they are growing a hate for you. Because they can't move on. Nor do you want them. So the rejection is eating them up. But they do love you. Weirdo. Just know success is on its way. You just got to keep working hard, baby. Also... Release that ex, okay? Release these people. They were your ex for a reason. 
This person can't keep what's in their pants to themselves. That one-eyed monster always wins. So stop, think before you make a mistake. Because baby, dealing with this person will definitely be a mistake. But anyway, that's your message. Let's get you some angel messages to get you up out of here, baby. What does the collective need to know? What does the collective need to know? God wants you to know that you can do it. He's giving you hope and encouragement. Trust in yourself and your life choices. Trust your intuition is what he's telling you. Like I said, trust the intuition, baby. And you may be going through a lot of emotional turmoil right now, but know that everything is about to get better. Just make sure you stop and think before you make any mistakes. And if you haven't heard us today, you're an addiction. You don't need no addiction. Okay? Anyway, I want to thank everybody for the love and support that they show me on a daily. I love y'all so much, and I appreciate y'all to the moon, to the stars, to the sun. And back. I want to thank everybody for the cash up donations, super thanks, and the personal bookings. I love y'all. And I'll see y'all on the next one. Bye. Mwah.